What's up, everybody? It's your girl Tiffany M. Benson, aka Lady Arabella, and you have tuned in to another episode of Showcase of the Arts Building an Expo. I am finally doing more of these because now we are three months away from the fall Showcase of the Arts Fashion and Beauty Expo, so now everything is really, really starting to gear up. So today I'm going to talk about marketing an expo. So three things that you would want to do if you are building your own expo. Um, well, three things in my opinion, my humble opinion of how to market an expo. And also I will be featuring one of the designers as well, some of the footage and photos from the last spring expo. So if you want to see all of that, then make sure you hit that big red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the uh, videos and different things that we have coming up and hit the like button. <laughs> but for real, stay tuned. Alright guys, so when it comes to uh, marketing a any type of show, so whether it's an expo or it's just a fashion show or if it's a business conference, trade show, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to be able to market it to uh, all different types of people, which means you're going to have to market it in many different ways. Um, this year is my six year running Showcase of the Arts and it's always been just a fashion show, but now I'm moving it to an expo, which I have worked really, really hard to save up because I wanted to have a business that wasn't in debt, which I will talk about that, building a business that's not in debt in a later topic. But um, I worked really, really hard to be able to increase the uh, marketing budget for this particular show. Um, we got all of the bugs ran out in our spring expo, so I know how it runs, and then I know kind of a little bit more the way to market it. So this year I'm very excited because if you saw my other video, I had my big announcement where we are adding commercials to it. So uh, we also are going to be uh, doing 15 second commercials on Channel 7, um, which is a local TV station here in Arizona, since the show is here in Mesa, Arizona, um, but they will be commercial. So way number one is commercial, um, and you can do a commercial on TV, or you can do a commercial on radio, or you can do a commercial on billboard. Um, so you can do it like live, you can do a radio where it's more like voice, and then you can do print where it is billboard like on the side of a freeway or something like that. Now these are really expensive op like options. Um, I didn't start off marketing my expo this way because I couldn't afford to. You know, these are something that starts as low as like, I mean, you can get a billboard for about $2,000 a month. Um, and then it can go all the way up to the hundreds of thousands of dollars for radio and TV and even billboards. So this is a really expensive option and it's something that you want to really build your show to. And make sure your show is the way that you want it before you spend that much money on marketing. So option number two is Gorilla Street Team. So this is something I have always done. I find it very effective and it has really increased my business name. Um, and what that is, is creating a street team to basically give them some flyers and send them out on the streets. Um, target, you wanna target things like big games, festivals, other shows, different things like that where there's gonna be large groups of people and you just have people walk around, hand out your flyers and say, this is what's coming up next have any questions um, that is a great way to appeal to a lot of people and be able to get questions answered so that's something I will always do when marketing my show because I still till this day find it very very effective so option number three which is our final option is social media guys I can't express to you how important social media is nowadays um, it is one of those things to where it is kind of taken over our lives Everybody has a Facebook, everybody has a TikTok, a Twitter, a Instagram, a YouTube, a Snapchat, everything. Everybody has social media and it's a way of meeting new people, it's a way of getting your name out there and it's just a way of really, you know, expanding everything. Expanding your voice, expanding your brand, expanding everything about yourself. 
So that is what social media is providing for us these days. Um, one of the biggest things that I do is I create an event page on my Facebook and then I share that. And then I also create video posts on my Instagram and then I buy ads for those video posts on my Instagram. I find more success with getting video posts like paid ads on my Instagram than I do my Facebook, but the Facebook group event page has more success than putting up a post and trying to create some type of group around that on Instagram. So those two things I really focus on. So now that we have three amazing ways to uh, market an expo, you can write that down, you can quote me on them, I've been using them, they're pretty great, and we're getting ready for our, our fall expo, which I'm so excited about. Let's check out some footage from our spring expo. All right guys, so I hope you really enjoyed that. Our Spring Expo was so much fun and it was so nice being in such a huge venue with space and I could see all the potential and different things that we're gonna be able to do with it. One day I'm gonna take over that entire convention center and it's all gonna be mine. <laughs> so we're getting there. But before you leave, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you. Fly high my bell butterflies.